So this morning, the Prime Minister has a short announcement for us. Um, I ask that we obey the housekeeping rules, phones on silent, and to also be courteous in our questioning. Prime Minister. Thank you. Thank you, Press Secretary. So, um, I want to announce that this morning, Mr. Vungard has been appointed by the Acting Governor General, acting on the advice of the Public Service Commission as Acting Police Commissioner of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, effective 2nd September 2024. Mr. Gard was previously the Director of the Bodily Correctional Facility from October 2022, a position he held on two occasions, the first being over the period February 2015 to June 2018. Prior to taking up the position of Director of the Bodily Correctional Facility in his first stint, he was a member of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force and head of the Special Branch Unit. Mr. Gard brings with him several years of experience in managing people and resources in the exercise of law enforcement. He has had responsibility at different times of heading the ancillary police station the Canvas Police Station, the Marigold Police Station, and the Marshall Police Station. Given the vexing issue of crime, it's important to note that having played an essential role in executing some of the development plans for the Central Intelligence Unit, or the Sinusha Police Force, a vital unit in crime fighting during its policing years, that the police under its leadership will have greater successes in the fight against crime. In addition to his underground experience, Mr. Gard has benefited from many professional courses, ranging from drug enforcement, narcotics intelligence, general police intelligence, protective security, leadership and, and management, and gang, gang investigations, and train the trainer programs. Mr. Gard holds a Bachelor of Science degree in criminal justice law enforcement and administration. He has been recognized by Central Intelligence Unit of the United States for exemplary service with the award of distinguished service being conferred on him. The United Kingdom Customs and Excise Unit and the United States Embassy in Bridgetown both formally recognize his work with memoranda of appreciation. In addition to the international community, Mr. Gall has received many awards for his, for his professionalism and dedication in the field of law enforcement. I also want to take this opportunity to thank Mrs. Crescenta Pelius for her stint and her role as Commissioner of Police. Mrs. I wish Mrs. Pelius well and I thank her on behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia. I thank you. Um, good morning, Mr. <coughs> Mr. Gall is acting is on contract in the first instance for over a period of six months. In the first instance. Okay, and this plan to extend or why is it six months? Yeah, it's because year? it's a, you know, as you know, it's a <clears throat> it's a position that we, we must that has to be carefully scrutinized and it has to be you have to look at the output, etc. and then after that a decision will be taken. Okay, so you are looking also at other possible... No, we are <laughs> at least not in the next six months. <laughs> okay, I know okay, last year when Mr. Mrs. Sorry, Descartes was um, appointed as the Acting Commissioner, he also Well, they, they asked the, the, the decision to train the hierarchy of the police force is ongoing and it's still going on. Um, so at this present moment, none of them fit the... Um, the, the, the training the is still, their training is still going on, but he said at this time that it would have been better to appoint um, Mr. Mr. Gard, 
who has got extensive experience in training, extensive experience in police work. We thought it would be better at this point to appoint Mr. Vunga. Prime Minister Jeremiah Joseph from the Chairs. So, would you say what's the moral of the police force are doing right now? Because we've, we've Christina Bever did say that she did, did enough work um, um, to ensure that the police been on a good footing. What would you say as the Prime Minister, the morale of the police force right now? I, I, as I said, I thank Mrs. Ms. Polius, Ms. Pelius for the work she's done. Um, you, you haven't got a measure of, 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 of difficult to measure um, what's happening. But I know the police, the conditions of work have improved tremendously. The police have more resources than they ever had possibly for a long time. They put right now, we are building a new divisional divisional headquarters for for the police in, in the north. Something they wanted for quite a while. We've building new police stations. We're giving them new vehicles. We are completing the the custody suites. We have 70 recruits being trained. Recruits have not been trained for, for almost a decade. So in terms of resources, in terms of equipping the police to, to do that job, that's happening. In terms of in terms of morale, I can't tell you I can't judge it, but I can tell you I've got full cooperation from the high command of the police force, and I wish them well. And they've, we, this morning we had a meeting with the new commissioner, and they pledged their support to the new commissioner. So are you concerned? I mean, there's been a high... Recently the police brought the statistics that this year almost high on crime and... No, they said it was high in murders, yes. Murders. There was actually a decline in crime. Right. Yeah. I just wanted to remind you. Yes, sir. We, we, we are you hoping that with Mr. Gandhi that... Yeah, of course, of course. We need, I, we need continuous improvement. <clears throat> we need continuous improvement. Of course we need continuous improvement. We're hoping for improvement all the time. And in light of that, sir, as the former commissioner left, she did indicate that they were going to have some investigation within the police force. Have you read about this? And are you interested... Investigation on what? Um, in, investigation within the police On police what? Force. On sexual harassment, sexual harassment within the executive. Yeah, the, the commissioner, as I've told you many times before, I've told you many times before, and I'm going to re repeat it again. The commissioner of police has full <coughs> jurisdiction on the operations of the police force. The commissioner of police has full jurisdiction on the operations of the police force. The Commissioner of Police declares that there is need to be an investigation. The Minister of National Security will not, will not interfere. And I, that position holds. It held for the last Commissioner. It will hold for this Commissioner. Do you know, sir, if there is anyone from the outside that has come in to investigate this? I was told by the Commissioner that she, there is some somebody from impacts to look into this this matter. I've, I've been told so by the former commissioner. I've been told so, yes. Good morning, Mr. Pierre, Gregory Hamilton from Choice TV. You just mentioned impacts. Is impacts maybe one of the contributing factors? No, the impact I mentioned was no, the no, name no, no. of the organization. I'm going eh? my question. Yeah. No, no, I'm just going to care. Yeah, yeah, the impact I, was the name of the, of the organization. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The impact, would you say it's, it's a factor in <coughs> getting our policemen to be properly trained because we have only had two trained commissioners and both of them are presently out of the force. Two trained commissioners? Yes. When I said um, four commissioners, only two. It's, I believe, it's Mr. Um, from Denry, Mr. Regis, and the last minister for the police under the last administration. That's the two official men we have trained, trained as commissioners. To date, we have not had any. I did my investigation. Okay, so do, do we say that the impacts is sort of like plaguing us in the sense of our policemen getting the proper training to be commissioners? That's why maybe we have a problem of succession today. And impacts happened in 2009. Mm -hmm. You said there'd be no trained commissioners from, 20, from 2009 or before 2009. I don't know what you mean by train commission. I don't know what you mean by train commissioners. But anyhow. The, the commissioner training is only two. Years okay, after. all right. Okay. I don't think impacts. Two, uh, no, impacts. Two, um, I don't think impacts are anything to do with that. You don't think? 
Brazil no, I don't think we so. don't have any train as as they said it was only two and we have not had any train so that means we have a problem with a succession plan for a, a commissioner I hear you This um, Reginald Andrew from the Voice Publishing. Yeah, you mentioned the, the vast um, experience of Mr. Gad, as well as the local, you know, his local um, stint. He's also been in the region, and now we have a lot of emphasis on the RSS and the regional you know, approach. Do you think um, his experience in the, in, in the wider regional international affairs will, will in some way enhance you know, or boost the, the, the 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 of, of the force yeah, well, as I said, Mr. Gal comes highly trained. He's worked in, he's worked out of Saint Lucia. He comes highly trained in all aspects of, of, of policing. He's an experienced police officer. He started from within the ranks and he's risen. So I have no, I have no, I have no doubt in my mind that his experience and his training should augur well for the future of the police force. Talking about the succession plan, would Mr. Gad also be in the reckoning in line for the succession plan? I mean, he's, since he's yes. capable of it. Yes. Um, as any police officer, he is in line, like any police officer. Any police officer is in line to be to, to, to succeed. The job of police, of police is not a poor man's job. So, as any police officer is. But this time, before it was right that Mr. Gad be appointed acting commissioner of police at this time. So, Francis, <coughs> Mr. Gad was the former director of the BCA. What's, what becomes of the BCA now? BCA? Well, the BCA has a hierarchical structure. Somebody is acting, and hopefully, we will be able to confirm this appointment, this acting appointment, very shortly. Mr. Terence? I think Mr. Terence, I'm going to ask the instructor, Mr. Terence is acting commissioner, acting director of Bodily. Okay. Um, another question, but not related to what you announced. Um, the commission has surfaced that um, a bank, TD Bank, a bank from Canada, has commenced um, the termination of its corresponding bank with a bank here in St. Lucia. So I'm confirmed if you have received such information <coughs> and your thoughts I've got. No such information, and I've on, and I've understood that the Bank of Saint Lucia will make it a statement very shortly. So I'll allow the bank to make that statement, but I've got no such no such information. But expect a statement from Bank of Saint Lucia very very shortly. They will make it a statement on that on that scenario, if that scenario is accurate. We are waiting for the confirmation. Is it?